Greetings, my dear cat lovers. Does your cat have any fears? What does your cat fear the most? My cat is afraid of mice. Yes, imagine that. Once upon a time, humans domesticated cats to help them hunt rodents. But now, after thousands of years, there are cats that have been several generations removed from knowing what a mouse is and simply fear it. In this video, we will talk about this fear in cats and many others. Let's start with something unexpected. The first thing that cats fear is humans. Yes, cats are afraid of people. Fear of humans is more common in feral cats that live on the streets and have little contact with humans. If an animal has a dominant nature, it can be aggressive towards people. When it has a more submissive temperament, it will simply run away from them. Domestic cats may run away from humans if they have had negative experiences with them. This can be the result of cruel treatment or just an unpleasant interaction, such as a visit to the veterinarian for vaccinations. If a cat avoids human touch, it may have been beaten or simply dislikes being touched by strangers. Fear can be a reaction to a new person who behaves too loudly or has an unpleasant scent for the cat. At home, a cat may fear a child if they are too active, constantly intrude on the cat's personal space, or overpower it. Do not allow children to pester pets when the animals do not want it. Fear can escalate into serious behavior and health problems. Another non-trivial fear is that cats are afraid of mice. Fear of rats and mice is not uncommon among domestic cats. Instincts are dulled in cats that have grown up in a house and have always been well fed. Additionally, if a cat has never seen a mouse or a rat, it's natural for them to develop fear of something unfamiliar. A mouse is something new, and the cat doesn't know what to do. Is the mouse dangerous, and what can be expected from it? Secondly, domestic cats lack the skills of how to deal with a mouse because they haven't encountered rodents in their peaceful domestic life. By the way, my grandmother used to tell me that when she was little and they had mice in their house, one of the cats was afraid of them and didn't catch them at all. So, some cats refuse to hunt rats and mice altogether. Cats are afraid of other cats. If your pet hasn't grown up with other cats, it will fear them due to a lack of socialization skills. A stronger and more confident cat will send a signal, stay away from me. And if your pet is not dominant, it will heed the warning and avoid contact. Of course, cats are also afraid of dogs. Do you know why? For cats, a dog is an unfamiliar creature that constantly disturbs their peace. When a dog sees a cat for the first time, it runs towards it, trying to make acquaintance. It wags its tail and barks loudly. This is how a dog shows friendliness and tries to play with the cat. However, such behavior is perceived as hostile by the cat. After all, cats only wag their tails and make sounds when they are aggressive. Therefore, the cat launches an attack on the friendly dog to preempt the opponent. The second time the dog encounters a cat, it will be much more cautious and may attempt to attack first. You've probably also seen videos online of cats being afraid of cucumbers. But it should be noted that cats are not only afraid of cucumbers but also bananas, zucchinis, and any elongated objects that suddenly appear behind them. Cucumbers, like other elongated objects, resemble snakes to cats and trigger an instinctual fear response. Cats are genetically predisposed to fear snakes. Zoologists explain this by the fact that cats originated from the deserts of the Middle East, Egypt, where there are many snakes that cats had to be wary of. Thus, the genetic memory kicks in. When they see something slithering on the ground, their natural reaction is to jump up to prevent a bite. If you frequently scare your cat with a cucumber, there can be long-term consequences for the pet's mental health. It will become afraid not only of cucumbers but also of the environment where the vegetable was presented to the animal. As a result, the cat will develop a fear of everything indiscriminately. Additionally, the cat will be in constant tension, expecting that something unexpected might happen again. The constant stress will have a negative impact on the animal's health. Cats are also afraid of balloons. For a cat, balloons are scary rubber monsters. Animals may perceive a balloon as a living creature because it can move on its own due to the air inside. If a balloon hangs above the pet, the cat may think it is going to attack them. If the furry companion tries to defend itself and pops the balloon with its claws, the loud sound will greatly frighten them. Therefore, after the initial contact with a balloon, the cat will be even more afraid of it. I also read in one of the zoological literature that many cats are afraid of spiders. 
Zoologists claim that arachnophobia, the fear of spiders, is characteristic of all mammals. It originated in ancient times when mammals were much smaller in size, and insects were larger and posed a real threat. Since then, this fear has been preserved in cats and humans as well. Many cats are afraid of water, especially if they have never been washed or bathed before. However, not all cats are afraid of water. Some cats actually enjoy it and swim and bathe with pleasure. There are also many smells that cats don't necessarily fear but dislike. For example, the smell of citrus. I have a whole video about which smells cats like and dislike. You can find the links to these videos in the description of this video. It is important to note that not all cats are equally afraid of things on the list. Perhaps your cat loves to bathe and play with lemons, or it catches mice with gusto. However, this does not mean that all cats handle such situations well. Treat your cat's phobias with respect and avoid intentionally scaring your pet. I especially do not recommend experimenting to see if your cat is afraid of a banana or a cucumber. I hope this video was interesting for you, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It greatly inspires me to create new similar videos about cats. I am also very grateful when you subscribe to my channel. Until the next meeting in the upcoming videos.